Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best gaming PCs under $1000 in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'm trying to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check out the links in the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. Number 5 iBuyPower Trace 4 The iBuyPower line of gaming desktop PCs has long been a favourite top-of-the-line boutique builder, and for a good reason. In addition to offering gaming systems with strong performance and low starting prices, its machines are suave and stable. With the Trace 4 9310, you're getting a fairly sleek and flashy design complete with a pair of RGB lit strips on the front, a transparent side panel and RGB fans within the case. The iBuyPower Trace 4 9310 has a diverse number of connectivity ports, with some of the front and a few others around the back, so you have several ways of connecting your accessories and devices. In total, you have four USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, an Ethernet port and a 7.1 audio channel output. For multi-monitor setup, you have an HDMI and display port. Wireless connectivity comes via 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. The iBuyPower Trace 4 9310 in this review is billed as a gaming desktop, but looking at its feature set, it's obvious that this machine can easily double for both gaming and productivity. Our review unit comes with a 3.6GHz AMD Ryzen 5 3600 processor, 8GB of DDR4 RAM and 240GB of SSD storage, alongside a capable AMD Radeon RX 5500 XT graphics card. This is enough power for web browsing, photo editing, medium productivity tasks and some moderate video encoding. Simply put, it's an enthusiast gamer's paradise, capable of running most processor-hungry tasks, modern AAA games seamlessly, ensuring that your gaming experience is completely immersive. That applies to similarly medium-demanding applications like video editing programs. Number 4. Aces ROG Strix GA15DH as with any other pre-built desktop, the GA15 is ready-made for use right out of the box. Most strikingly, it comes with a handle at the top, which supposedly can support up to 30 kilograms of weight. While we're not sure just how exactly the 30 kilogram benchmark measures up, we can confirm that having the handle certainly makes it much easier to port this desktop around. It's great for users who constantly move about or who are just looking to join their next LAN party with greater ease. That said, the GA15 is still quite a hefty machine despite being the slimmer model in the line, weighing in at roughly 10 kilograms. Importantly, the Asus GA15, much like most pre-builds from the big players, comes in a vast array of builds. Using GPUs as a broad brush barometer of build power, this can stretch from machines with NVIDIA 1650 cards all the way up to a 2070 Super or an AMD 5700 XT. There are fewer processors to choose from, but that's no problem when they all harbour AMD Ryzen excellence. At 1080p, this PC can provide blistering experiences. Getting close to 60fps in Metro Exodus on its RTX benchmark is an achievement for sure. This also bodes well for gaming at 1440p if settings are toned down a bit too. If you're willing to pay for a quality gaming PC right now that could be your go-to work PC as well, on the other hand, then I can't think of many better investments performance-wise. The best of both worlds is to get the Asus GA15 now, enjoy it, and then upgrade your build with a new GPU down the line. Number 3. ROG Strix GL10DH For a PC gamer, the most important component in the system is the graphics card. This is the supermodel part that'll make or break the setup and is responsible for making all your games look awesome. The more powerful the graphics card, the higher, smoother frame rates you'll get, the higher resolution you can run at, and the better your games will look. For graphics, this Asus computer has an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. We rate this NVIDIA GPU as powerful enough to run 963 games at a recommended level. The level of RAM in a gaming desktop is also important. More system memory allows your PC to churn through large amounts of data quickly, and for today's massive open game worlds, it's vital to have that information accessed quickly to speed up game loads. Having too little RAM can mean laggy frames and a poor experience. This rig comes with 16GB of system RAM, better than most dedicated gaming PC setups according to the Steam hardware survey, and it'll be perfect if you're aiming to do more with your desktop, such as streaming. 
being a powerhouse, the system ensures silent operation, smooth running of gaming applications, and multitasking ease. They also like the convenience of future customization offered by the PC, but yes, price is definitely a factor to think about. Number 2. iBuy Power MR9320 the iBuy Power Element MR9320 is that PC that easily handles modern games and productivity tasks with ease better than a typical gaming console without costing too much. Now, sure, there are more expensive custom-built PCs out there, but the fact remains that the Element MR9320 uses a custom-built PC case that you would legitimately find somewhere else, but it looks great. The case does get the job done with three LED rings in the front panel and a tempered glass side panel through which you can see the neat interior and makes for toolless access in case you need to access the interior components. The iBuy Power Element MR9320 we're reviewing packs a 10th gen Intel Core i7-10700F processor, NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti 6GB graphics card, 16GB of DDR4 memory, 240GB of SSD and a 1TB hard drive for storing all your games and pretty much everything else. These are respectable specs these days, to be sure, and are more than capable of playing modern PC games at 1080p without issue. And when not gaming, you can run productivity tasks like photo editing and media creation hassle-free. That said, this configuration is a perfectly good choice for gamers who want to upgrade from a tired rig, or those who want to join the PC market but aren't quite comfortable enough to build their own gaming machines from scratch. Number 1. Skytech Shiva The Shiva is one of the best options in the sub-$1,000 market for gaming PCs from Skytech. This PC has a wonderful case that looks very refined, has a compilation of excellent parts, it's future-proofed, and will deliver plenty of gameplay for AAA games with ultra-high settings. It has a great thermal solution, and with its CPU and GPU, it's one of the most capable PCs on the market, and it delivers excellent value for its price. The Skytech Shiva is a beast in the performance and productivity department, as it's fitted with a Ryzen 5 2600 6-core processor with 4GHz of boost clock speed, 500GB of SSD, which is top of the line, an A320 motherboard, 16GB of gaming memory with heat spreader DDR4 3000 RAM, and Windows 10 64-bit pre-installed. This makes this PC capable of working with anything you can think of, one of the most capable in the planet. However, the Shiva shines in the graphics department as it's equipped with a top-of-the-line NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 GPU with 6GB of VRAM which is capable of real-time ray tracing and amazing graphics. It doesn't get any better than this GPU, as it'll provide you plenty of frame rates in higher settings smoothly. Buying Guide Firstly, Processor when you buy a gaming desktop, whether it's one you built yourself, a custom gaming rig, or a pre-made model from Dell or HP, the processor will be the first specification you see, and for good reason. The processor determines how a system will perform in most software. The processor core count is a major consideration. Options range between 2 and 16 cores in the mainstream space. Unless you're on an extreme budget, a 4-core chip should be as low as you go, lest you run into performance issues with some software and games. Secondly, RAM. A good baseline for modern gaming systems is 16GB, especially with how far prices have dropped in recent months, but you can get away with 8GB if you're playing older games or don't mind sacrificing detail or frame rate to make additional savings. After all, memory is one of the easiest things to upgrade later, and one of the most affordable too. And thirdly, GPU. If you're somewhat serious about gaming, the graphics card is where you should pay the most attention. It's the component with the biggest hand in beautifying your games, spitting out high frame rates and making higher resolutions playable. Model numbers tell you much of the story here, with higher numbered cards typically meaning more performance, though there are some caveats there and overclocked models from third-party GPU partners can close performance gaps between versions. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.